Desmond here for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better, better, and you can't be much better than I was this weekend. No losses, seven and zero oh between college and NFL picks over the weekend. So, yes, I am back on the winning track, back on board after a couple of tough weekends. Opened the season great, stumbled a little bit for a couple of weeks. Went back to basics and uh, nailed it this last weekend. So if you uh, want to win some money, uh, check out my premium picks. No guarantees, but uh, I'm pretty hot right now. And, you know, the mistake most people make, inevitably, everybody has hot streaks and cold streaks, just the way it goes. They wait too long to get on the person with the hot streak. If you wait another two or three weeks and then start picking up my premium bets, probably on the downside at this point. It's all statistics, folks. Nobody beats the boys in Vegas long term. I do pretty well, but uh, in fact, ended last year north of 70% for my mixed football picks. But guys, get in while the getting's good. I'm telling you right now, I've got a beat on it right now. Check out those premium picks. All right. Tuesday night action. Uh, this is going to be 4 p.m. West Coast, 7 p.m. East, Bowling Green, Ohio, the location of the game. They've got Toledo coming into town. Toledo's one of the hottest teams in the country. Uh, they lost their first game. They've been 9-0 and since. Uh, Bowling Green, four straight wins. They've reeled off. And, by the way, doing some pretty impressive scoring in a couple of those games. 40 burgers by their offense. Uh, these are conference foes. They know each other well. Uh, Bowling Green won the last game between these two, but these are not the same two teams. Fred, the favorite is the Rockets, minus 10, 10 and a half when it opened. I'm looking at it at nine and a half right now. Money line, no value for the Rockets, minus 410. You get plus 320 if you want to take the Falcons of Bowling Green. The total sits at 52, which eh, seems a little low to me. Uh, the Toledo Rockets, look, this team fits perfectly in the scoring happy Mac. Uh, they've got a great offense. Uh, one of the top offenses in the country. They rank just outside the top 30. Uh, and they run the rock. They don't much on the passing game, but boy, can they run the ball. They are rarely behind the chains because of that, and so they have great effectiveness on third down. They keep their team on the field. They keep the defense off the field and fresh. They execute generally on offense with great effectiveness, but penalties are a problem. They rank very, very low in terms of penalties, meaning they get a lot of them. Uh, they occasionally, out of nowhere, for some reason, at least once or twice a game, have a completely perplexing bonehead play. They do turn the ball over a bit, uh, but their defense is strong by max standards, and they can be there to help out if they need it. They're ranked just outside, well, right around 30, I think, if I remember correctly. As I said, Bowling Green's been on a roll. They come into this game, they're on a four-game winning streak. Uh, they hung more than 40 points in two of their last three games, but the teams they played are terrible. Akron's two and eight. Kent State's one and nine and is winless in the MAC completely. Uh, Toledo, I'm sorry, uh, Bowling Green also has two key running backs questionable for the game. Potentially, that could be a problem for them. And look, Bowling Green isn't terrible by Bowling Green standards. Uh, sorry, David, who is on the network here with Winners and Winers and is a Bowling Green graduate. But, uh, look, the Rockets are too much for them in this game. Um, I'm back in Toledo, minus the 9.5, which is where I see it right now, and I like it at 9.5. Lot Esmond, four winners and winers, giving you some advice on some Tuesday night matching here at Winners and Winers, where we're trying to make you a better, better.